turn now to Dr. Jen Ashton with a few new questions you've been asking on social media. So first question, Dr. Jen, if you develop a dry cough from COVID-19, is it better to let your body continue coughing or try to suppress it with tea and cough drops? Well, Amy, there's no official recommendations on this, so I'm going to tell you what I would tell you if you were my patient. And get ready, TJ, because I'm going to drop a uh -oh. word here that here you're going to love. I'm ready. There's something <laughs> called reactive tracheitis, and what that basically means is coughing begets more coughing because it irritates the trachea and then after the infection is over you're just left with irritation so i recommend if this is still happening at the two week mark you see someone get it checked out but until then yeah you actually want to suppress that coughing so you don't develop that reactive tracheitis well of course reactive tracheitis as we soon as someone even time. says cough i'm like <coughs> does anyone else feel that way yes i'm we, not sick but really we have this whole and no you, you make a great point we all have that we we don't want to cough we don't right. want someone to look at us crazy and then if i hear somebody clear their throat across the room i dive under a desk <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no official recommendation on that either, huh, Doc? Okay, um, let's go to question number two. <laughs> question number two here. COVID tongue. What do we know about something called COVID tongue? It sounds nasty, Doc. So what is this? I know, but you know what? I love this question, you guys, because in Ayurvedic me medicine, which is the Eastern Indian style of medicine, the tongue is actually where the physical exam starts. They look at the tongue as a window into our overall health. But there have been reports of some mouth ulcers, some swollen tongues with patients who have had COVID. It's not common. We don't really know the incidence of it, but certainly we see that with other viral syndromes as well. So just a reminder that uh, this virus can present with a wide range of manifestations. All right, and then a non-COVID question here. I am trying to lose weight. Would you recommend any supplements for speeding up my metabolism? Definitely not. Uh, we have talked to you guys before about the fact that weight loss supplements are rife for being tainted or contaminated or ineffective or in some cases downright dangerous. The reality is in the world of nutritional science and weight management, the majority of our weight is determined by our energy intake, meaning the calories that we take in. So yes, be active, um, but really focus on what kind of foods you're taking in if you're trying to lose weight. All right, very important to know and to remember, Dr. Jen, as always, thank you so much. And you can submit questions to Dr. Jen on her Instagram at Dr. J Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.